Hi everyone, my name is Nathan, and tonight's video, while magic related, has nothing to do with deck lists or modern or cards. It has to do with something far more important, and that is our connection to one another as a community. You know, we don't know each other. I may know some of you in real life, but a lot of you I don't know. But the likelihood is if I did, we'd probably be friends. We have something in common that we really care about. We're really a community. And that's a big deal. The community that you're a part of understands you sometimes in a way that nobody else can. When I tell people, hey, I want to spend money on paper magic cards, they don't even know what I'm talking about. They don't get that. They don't understand that. But when I say that to somebody that plays magic, they know exactly what I mean. And they know why I care. And they don't judge me or they don't question that. They identify with that. And they probably want to know what cards I want to get. So that brings me to... It brings me to a story, but it brings me to... A message that I want to share with you guys. I firmly believe in supporting the people that are involved in this community. That is 90% of the reason why I have this YouTube channel. I want to, for a lack of a better way to put it, help the people that I care about because they care about what I care about. And I haven't even, I feel like I haven't even gotten started with, you know, making the level of content that I'd like to. I feel like I could give you guys so much more and I feel like I'm not even doing that great of a job. I, I want to do so many things and I procrastinate and anyway, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but I believe in taking care of your own. I saw something today on Reddit that touched my heart, and I'll pull it up for you right now, and I'll give you guys the synopsis, and I'll also put the links in the description of this video. Um, somebody, there was a post on Reddit, and you know, I, I will say this about Reddit: it gets a lot of, it gets a bad rap, and you know, every community has its bad, its bad egg so to speak bad eggs but reddit in a lot of ways like magic is a community of people that that care about each other it's actually a a community of many different communities and magic is one of those communities so today a user by the name of ll posted hi everyone i humbly come to you as the widow of one of your own to invite you to his memorial tournament in Savannah, Georgia on February 28th. And I'll read one line here, or one sentence. Tragically, username Metal Gods passed away almost a year ago at only 30 years old. Matt was a veteran who spent nearly three years of his life overseas. On February 24th, 2014, he took his own life. Matt suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. And if you read his wife's story, you um, there's, some, there's some really touching parts, like how about how um, and he called her on the phone and was like, if you hear anything about this town that I'm in or this city, it's fine, everything's fine, trying to reassure her. You know, there was a suicide bomber that had like broken through the gates or something like that and and blew up and he he called her like out of breath and was like everything's everything's fine i'm okay you know maybe he wasn't okay but he was really i think just doing being a good human by reaching out to the person that cared about him and that he cared about more than anyone else in the world and trying to you know allay their fears and unfortunately and by the way, his name is Matthew Lashore. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Matt, you know, thought about his wife in a lot of ways before he thought about himself, it sounds like. 
And it doesn't sound like, even though he sort of served his country, he did not get the service that he needed after his service was done and did not get either have it recognized or get it treated in the correct way, this this post-traumatic stress disorder, and ultimately took his life. And, in, you know, if, if you read through all of these different things, it does not sound like he was the kind of guy to do that. And so she's having this this memorial tournament, and the you know she's asking the proceeds from the tournament are going to go to an organization that raises money to support uh, you know helping people with PTSD. One of the things she had said that I also found touching was she was talked about you know I'd like to commission an artist to do some art like a soldier token or a fake magic card in Matt's image. Does anybody know anyone? Well, you've probably heard of Noah Bradley, and if you haven't, Google him and you'll probably recognize the magic cards that he's created. But he jumped in and said, hey, you know, I would actually I'll find the post. He said, you know, my condolences. I'm sorry for your loss. You know, I, I'd love to take this on as a commission. And he's going to, you know, sell Playmats on his website and give the proceeds to the, the donation uh, the charity that you know all of this stuff is is going towards you know and I'll show you the image here um, I think it looks great and you know when I put myself in the shoes of his wife who lost this just engaging and funny and vibrant guy to you know the emotional trauma that he endured serving this country you know I can't help but feel like how touching it must be have been to see her husband immortalized in art and you know I know that there's there's lots of important causes out there there's lots of things happening in the world and you can't fight every fight out there but this is a fight that matters to me because it's my community and so I I, of course I can't make the tournament in Savannah Georgia but she's making the, the she has a link for you know making a donation to this charity in honor of Matt and you know I'm not going to ask you guys to say hey I want you guys to go donate for me but I wanted to let you know about this and if you feel inspired to do it to to make a donation I think that would be fantastic I think we should watch out for people in our community we should take care of the people in our community because like I said, you know, the people in the magic community understand that aspect of your life like nobody else can. And you're connected to them as humans because of that. So it's really important. Oh, one last thing I wanted to mention. I just wanted to publicly thank Noah Bradley for being a caring individual and going out of his way to make this world a better place by offering his services up to LL, you know, in in honor of Matthew Lasor, really stand up guy, very awesome gesture. Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, <laughs> again, like I said, I know this isn't my normal kind of video, but I found the story touching. I found it meaningful, and like I said, I care about the community. And if I can, you know, post a video up that maybe while well, a bit more somber in nature, even gets, you know, one or two people to be aware of this and say, hey, you know what? I would like to do something, you know, in honor of a member of my community. Then I've actually done some something meaningful and positive with my YouTube channel. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a good night and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.